brothers welcome back to territorial.io we're starting off today here in a 27 person free-for-all battle full sin against humans is not allowed good old usa we have our pacific northwest spot life is good right now nobody's coming too close by and i'm really liking that i would love that guy who was in the south to go back up north but that's not the case so that's really our closest neighbor other than that it's kind of free hunting at least for right now we will have to see if anybody spawned in doesn't look like anybody came too close to us so we probably will have a great start now we're gonna have to of course capitalize on that by growing smart and growing in the right ways i see roman is our closest person over there to the far right and there is a player down below us we'll check him out here in just a moment but right now looking pretty good uh we're about to hit enter into our infinite growth phase and so we'll see how big we can get off of this ah i might have waited just a tad bit too long i might have, i might i should have sent that just a few seconds earlier just to get a little bit more land but we are able to squeeze around so all is right in the world we have a uh, deutsch welt down below us and i'm sure i'm not pronouncing that one correctly but uh, it's late <laughs> it's very late so um we'll just continue to keep grabbing bots see how many we can encapsulate behind us see how much we can grow outwards so far so good as we do get the crown and do have a pretty good amount of troops roman does not look like he's going to be too much of a threat as he does have about a lot, oh he's got about twenty thousand troops but we have a lot more than him and a lot more room to grow so things are looking very good for us now i don't want to overextend in this position just because i do have that crown i don't need to make myself a bigger target than i probably already am ordering three players right now we'll just continue to keep pushing outwards fighting for the bots that we can get and um yeah i'll go into maya i was thinking about not going into maya but there wasn't another player over there and it doesn't look like i'm gonna have other borders as union is gonna cut me off that's perfectly fine i don't need to really extend beyond that and open myself up to potentially a, a huge gang up uh <laughs> delicious asks for the truce and immediately attacks me i respect the game union also offers the truce and i accept that one so now we just kind of play the waiting game, building up our troops. We have 42,000 pixels. Second place is about 28,000. So we got plenty of time. There's no need for us to rush into anything. If anything, we would just kind of want to dissuade any gang up opportunities. Now, fortunately for us, we're keeping pace with the three neighbors around us in terms of their collective strength. <laughs> Deutsch offers us another truce and we're not going to accept that no but i'm not going to signal that i'm not going to accept it mostly because i don't want him to then realize i'm going to attack him and then rally people to try and attack me looking at the rest of the world not much is going on oklahoma is going into the german empire and uh javascript is the second largest player in the world he could be a threat but we do have a little bit of a troop advantage and land advantage over him we're pacing faster than he is and i do kind of want to start moving into a, a player and i do think the player below us is a good target it's just about do i wait till i get to four million uh roman is going down i was hoping he would hold the line a little bit longer because i didn't really want to touch borders with blue but that's the way the cookie crumbles and we are sending about three million hmm i think do we do this yeah let's do this i saw blue attack the Sikh empire down below us so he might be a little bit busy and uh we do have that truce with union so that might pay dividends for us as we have seemingly free reign to go into this guy he's signaling for everybody to attack me and nobody else is joining in at least in the moment right now yeah blue is attacking him as well that's really good for us so we'll just continue to take out this player continue to increase our strength and now our, our red interest is about 5.7 million and we're almost there so we need a new target i think honestly we go into blue now going into the center in this map is very dangerous but i do want to take out probably the strongest person that borders me this will give us borders on javascript which is also very dangerous but the game we we play like it was either him or seek and either one would give us that this gives us a, a little bit earlier where we have a little bit more strength in java and could probably exploit that so we are at close enough to max or red interest so we'll just go into him right away and see if we could pick this fight in potentially a winning fashion now this is dangerous as union could betray us he has not betrayed us up to this point and i'm worried about touching borders with oklahoma as i imagine he would probably be another player that would join in but for right now all is good in the neighborhood we'll just keep attacking java as he's wasting a lot of troops trying to take us down we're timing our attack with the interest bar to make sure that we're getting the most for our land and so far it's working out for us we are winning this battle our max interest or our red interest excuse me i keep calling it max is 8.2 million so we have a good 
lead on these people. We'll take that truce with Louisiana. Hopefully he will help us out in this. And hopefully Oklahoma wants to take out Alliance instead of us. And we can kind of, nope, he decides to go into us right away. Okay, but Java has left. Wow, huge opportunity. And Java actually cuts us off from Oklahoma. So now we have even further to go. But unfortunately, Seek has also left the game. So let's start working down this player. As we're the only one that can get this land. And Java's going to be uh, overexposing himself as bots do. Just attacking anybody who kind of makes borders with him. And now let's go back into Java as he's pretty weak at this point. We are in a very, very dominant position. And we'll just take out the rest of Seek here. And our we have about 120,000 pixels. Now this is the next dangerous part. I could go into Oklahoma, get my revenge, but that would open me up to everybody on the board. So let's take out the Philippines as a very weak player. Oklahoma looks like he's going to cut us off. So we've managed our borders pretty effectively. Now, in this situation, still could go into Oklahoma, but for the reasons I previously stated, I'm just going to give him a couple attacks to weaken him. I don't really want to touch Korea. Korea seems to be the one I, that would probably attack me as Kim Jong-un is offering a truce. Now, I didn't want to go into Louisiana, but this is kind of the winning play at this point. As everyone's kind of feasting on Oklahoma, I'm going to let that go and turn my attention into Louisiana. So we will be betraying this alliance. He might have been one that held for the entirety of the game, but that's kind of a risk. And this is a, the guaranteed win. If we take out Louisiana, everyone else is going to be too weak to go against us. Tartar is our looks to be our friend. We do touch borders with Korea, but I do think at this point he's going to be too weak to do anything about it. It would take everybody uniting against me, and I do have an alliance with Union that's held this entire time. Drew is offering us a truce. I have no interest in that. That is not a truce that's really going to help me out at all. If anything, he probably want me to attack Tartar, and so that he could get borders on me and then attack me. Uh, same thing with Kim Jong. Um, Sorry, buddy. I, I need your land. <laughs> We're going to want his land to go into Korea just to again solidify the win. But at this point, it's looking pretty good. Now, Drew Argentina has taken it upon himself to go into Tartar, which is something we did predict. And Tartar is saying, please save me. And uh, I will. I will at this point. I have enough troops to get both these done. So let's just go ahead and start focusing down Argentina, saving our boy. I'm sure other people are mad at him for not attacking me. Uh, but honestly, he didn't have too many good opportunities. He, it would have been a self-sacrifice, but he means, oh, Korea's attacking. Let's go into Korea. But no, 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 no. Let's see how many people we got to take out. Okay, Korea has left and become a bot. We have cut off Argentina from Tartar. So now we just need to finish off the rest of Korea to pr protect our boy, prevent him from going down. He's been a great ally so far this entire game. And most importantly, he stayed alive. The reason I won this game was because he was blocking a large portion of the map from having borders on me and managing my borders effectively was what won the game and Union was a big part of it. So thank you Union, GG's to all involved as we do wrap things up. We'll give the collapse of good sportsmanship, we'll signal that we're looking for a piece and we'll give the kissy face for the boys. So we'll wrap this one up and go on to the next one. All right, next game up is going to be a little team action here in the island. I'm very excited for this. It's 13 players, a very small population map for a very small map. We have three players on our team, which does seem to be a slight advantage. I like my spot because nobody else is really going near it. The white seems to be white team seems to be clustering in the middle. The magenta team seems to be clustering on the left side of the map, and I didn't really see where the rest of the teams went. They didn't really seem to be very stronghold together. I don't know how our team is going to do because we are very separated, but we have a good chance of at least putting up a good fight on our own terms. So we'll continue to grow up here. We have EEE -E -E down below us. We have uh, Dino Demo, excuse me, Demo, Demo to the bottom right of us. That is probably going to be someone we clash with a lot. I would love to make an alliance with him, but I don't foresee that really occurring. So let's try and start working our way up north where we know there no there is no other players and there's a lot of opportunity for us. So in this game mode, you really want to make sure to hit just the bots that are fully attacking. Excuse that one. I thought he was going to attack. I was trying to time it, but no, no, no. I messed that one up just because troops are so important in this one. And people who have, you know, a lot more troops that have been saving up can really be a dominant factor in the late game. So I want to be really aggressive, though, and pushing up north and cutting people off, especially demo from having any land up here. And Union USA, if I could take out this last black bot is not going to have a way up because he has to go through his own bots. So that worked out 
really nicely for us. And now we can kind of start to expand as we have a good amount of troops compared to everybody else. USA is rather weak. That might be a good target to take out early so that there's no real gang up opportunity. Although there really wouldn't be at this point. Uh, we are getting attacked by a person who left became a bot player 231. That's very unfortunate for us. I think our solution here is just to continue to keep growing and hope that we can outgrow the problems that we currently have and go down here and oh usa is very weak let's go into these bots over here and see how the board is looking now we do have majority control but not by a lot looks like our third uh, buddy did falter now the magenta player is rather weak but i have not had the opportunity to really build up because i have been aggressively expanding but more importantly i've just been attacked by player two three one now we are getting attacked by the other white player which is unfortunate for us um our buddy looks like he was trying to help us out. He he did delay the magenta player over to the, the left of us from really doing some big attacks, but uh, he is going down. He's very much in the middle. I think at this point, it's kind of a lost cause. I don't want to get involved. I think the best chance for our team to win is just for me to save up and him to delay. If you're ever in a situation like this, he's doing exactly what he needs to is just not attacking and just kind of holding the line, although it does look like he full sent right there at the end. Now, the big threat on the board is the Magenta team. There's three of them, and they're all pretty strong. So my strategy will be taking out the one that I touch borders with before he has the opportunity to become stronger. Hopefully, the Russian Empire will hold and the blue team will hold, but it's not looking too promising. I, even though EEE -E -E did attack me earlier, I'm hoping that maybe we can have some kind of alliance. Oh, let's go into demo. He's... Uh, no. No. Let's wait for demo to get weaker. This is the priority right now is taking out this big magenta player. Let's go into demo now. And yeah, that white player is not going to hold very long against 700,000 troops from bot Rita. Ooh, yeah, we just got to go. We just got to go. We have the numbers right now. Let's just deny some land grabs right here. Finish off this one teammate right now and see how things are looking. Uzbekistan is a threat. Oh my gosh, bot Rita full sent into him. Is that a real bot? No way there's a real there's a real pocket that big, but that was very bot behavior. Uzbekistan. Oh, he offered a truce. Okay, hold on. We'll offer him the truce back. We'll take out the rest of this bot here. And if this was a bot, that was very bot behavior from those two players. I assumed it was players, but I think they might have actually been bots. Well, we'll go ahead and collect the win here as Uzbekistan leaves. And as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made this fun episode. If you have made this fun episode, hey, you give it a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put up videos every day, but boys, I will see you in the next one.